Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from Mindful Marketplace, and in this really quick tutorial, I'm going to share with you something that vexed me, challenged me, and frustrated me for about uh, a day trying to figure out how to do. And I actually asked for some help uh, and got a solution that I think will be helpful for those of you who are thinking about using the uh, Expert Hive Marketplace theme just put out by uh, the folks at Hive Press. So if you are, I'll give you a really quick example of what we're using for our Mindful Marketplace. Just a, this is a very small piece of our platform, but this is the service area or service oriented listing oriented part of our platform, which is using Task uh, Hive, also by Hive Press. Uh, but I, I really found editing the homepage on Task Hive was sort of challenging. And it was a, really too much information that I didn't need to present on our community. So actually what I decided was just to put the listing page itself as the landing page, right? So this is what you can see here. And this is the landing page for our listings. Now, again, this is a very small piece of our platform. We're really using Ghost and Circle and, uh, and Podia to deliver most of our content. But I really like the work that, um, let's see if I can bring that up actually, where is that? Okay, so here's the new Expert Hive uh, installation on a staging site in our community. So I'm going to be changing this to, I really like the landing page is what I'm saying badly here. So it's, you know, it's much cleaner. Um, and actually what I'm going to show you before I do that is I will bring up, here's Expert Hive, uh, the demo. So you can get a really good sense of what this looks like when it's installed. It's just really pretty, and it has a much more uh, request-oriented functionality, so people can post requests, and your members can respond to requests, and it has a much more uh, expert or vendor-focused vendor aesthetic. So as you can see here, you know any of the vendors have really clean uh, listing pages. So this is the listings that this particular you know uh, dummy profile has, and this is the, the expert hive demo. All right, so essentially I really like this for our particular uh, approach. I like the minimalistic uh, aesthetic. The design is much more amenable to what I uh, would like to do. So I want to use it, right? So I created a clone of our, of our, um, our you know, the mindful marketplace uh, community, and I'm going to be editing it here. And I want to show you this here, these images, how to get rid of them, and how to replace them uh, with your own. So you go to edit page, and this is completely counterintuitive. This is not generally how I am familiar with editing the, um, you know, this sort of uh, homepage. Usually that's done by dint of the featured image, which you can see here is empty, but that's actually not the approach to doing it here. So instead, what we want to do is we want to go into media, go into library, and here are the demo images that ship with the theme. And you actually have to delete the three images that show up in that spot. And where do I do that? Oh, well actually her we're going to delete, sorry. Him we're going to delete. And I think it's this dude, maybe. Let's see. Let's go back just to see. It's that dude. All right, so we got to go back to him, him, this dude here, and delete. All right, now let's look at our site and should have no images there. All right, so as you can see, now there's just this search and the text. So let's just change that really quickly.
All right, obviously that's not really the text I'm gonna go with. Uh, you know what, fuck it, let's do this too. Just to give us a better look when it's done. So now we now at least the whole thing will have a more of a consistent look. All right, so now we're going to have so here's our header now and we want to add those images. So we're going to go back into the dashboard. We're going to go into media and I've never done this before, right? So this was completely mysterious to me. I had no idea if it wasn't for Ehor who is the um, genius behind HivePress. He told me how to do this, so now I'm going to show you. All right, so we're gonna we want to we want to take these images and put them into a list format, which you can see here. And then I'm going to detach that. Let's see. The key here is you got to find three images and attach them to the home page. So let's do this one. There may be a shortcut to doing this that I'm just not doing properly, but this is pretty much the instruction. Let's, so she's attached to home, or she's attached to home, you can see, home. Let's use this dude. We're going to do the same thing. We could probably do this all actually at once. I could probably select multiple files. I'm just not doing it just because I'm not 100% sure that'll work. And let's pick this dude. We'll do the same thing. Oh, actually, it's got to be this. Oh, fuck, I'm actually messing this up. All right, hold on. I'm, I, I have multiple home pages. So some of them, one, only one of them is published, though. Let's detach her again. So we want the home page to be the published one, not the draft. That was the, see, I was attaching to this when this is actually a draft. It's this that I wanted. And this is a function of sloppiness. I have too many home pages that aren't, you know, that aren't titled in a way that makes it clear which one is live. Generally, that's not what I do. All right. Let's do one last thing. Let's say this dude here we're going to attach. And again, we're going to take the home, search, the published home here, select. All right, so that should be done. We have three images now. Let's see if it works. Boom. All right, so now you have these other three images that have this nice little CSS bouncing thing. And you're done. Now, when I ultimately, uh, now I would use different images. I would use images with some more verticality. But for the time being, just for illustration, illustration purposes or illustrative purposes, that certainly works. And again, some of the other things that you can do with this, uh, you know, the, on the home page, this is the demo content, and this is my content. You can see which for our previous, where is it? Well, on the previous Mindful Marketplace, uh, you know, layout, the long uh, descriptions of the categories weren't a challenge. But on this, they are. It really shouldn't be any more than two lines. And then, you know, here, th this just kind of like creates a poor aesthetic or, you know, design 
uh, layout by dint of the length of the category. So another thing you can do, and again, I don't want to go too far afield, but you can use icons in a cool way here. So you can just pick an icon. Let's just grab something that we like. If I, cut, if I actually take that away, you'll see how much better this will look. See, so now you have an icon there, you have two lines, and when you search the listings, right, it has a much more clean interface. The other thing I really like about this, and I'm surprised that I like this as much as I do, but I'll show it to you here, it's the lack of a buy now button. And I, I'm actually surprised that I feel this way, but the, there is no buy now button, so you can't actually buy the listing. So the whole idea of this um, sort of ecosystem now is to reply to the listing. So all of the listings are not purchasable in a more conventional way. There's no WooCommerce. I mean, you can enable it and it will give you that functionality. But this particular uh, demo of Expert Hive had, doesn't have their marketplace feature built in, or I'm sorry, activated. It doesn't have the marketplace feature activated, nor the WooCommerce uh, store elements uh, or e-commerce e elements activated. So really, the way that your members are going to be interacting with your um, your professional vendors is just by virtue of replying to the listing. So it, it, it it's a much less, um, it's a much softer sort of environment where people are going to be much more likely to say to this dude, hey, Brian, you know, obviously this is a dummy listing, but, you know, this is the service I need. I see this is what you charge. Uh, can you do it for less? And, uh, you know, as you'll also see, there are um, these requests. I'll show that to you as well. I, I really didn't mean to do all this detail here, but you can see under requests, your members can post requests. They can search for them and say, you know, I need something done in my house. I need someone for carpet cleaning, right? And this is the person who's posted it. This is the text of the post. And your vendors can make an offer, right? And as you can see below, the offers are listed underneath the request. So it really creates this very interactive, less scary environment where people can say, I need a job done, right? And your members can respond, they can make an offer, or on the other side, your experts can post listings And instead of, you know, instead of actually facilitating the payments and accepting the transactions on your site, you actually are just providing a straight sort of introductory or an environment where your professional peers can meet your public members. And I really like that quite a bit, um, which surprises me because generally I'm more interested in the e-commerce uh, element of this. But I, I just think there is a... A, um, a gentleness to the sort of setup, the site setup, where more trust is engendered by dint of encouraging people to interact with each other, to ask, to request, to respond to requests, and all that good stuff, rather than, you know, giving them this binary choice of either buying something or not buying something. Yes, in the other uh, versions of this with marketplace enabled, yes, you do have the ability to, you know, ask questions. But I can tell you from my own analytics that people are either, you know, they're 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 just not doing it much, you know. Whereas they're they're because they're seeing the price and there's kind of the whole UX is moving in the direction of buying or not buying. This is just 
replying or not replying. And I think it's a, a much more uh, warm and welcoming sort of ask. All right, and again, you do get a lot of good extensions uh, when you get Expert Hive Marketplace. You get requests, you get tags, you get a bunch of premium uh, extensions that you know come free with the purchase. And the only reason I point that out is a lot of people have said to me, you know, that oh, the, the Hive price is free, but there's all these extraordinary costs that you need. Uh, you know, to actually set up a real site. That's complete nonsense. It's not true. This is a great value, a great deal, and a great platform if you're building directories, marketplaces, to, you know, any sort of, of, of authority site style platform. And you can also reuse the theme and all the extensions on as many sites as you'd like. Contrary to the theme forest, you know, my listings of the world, which want you to buy a separate license every time you install your uh, new community on a new domain. Okay, so that's a quick walkthrough of recreating the landing page for, um, for uh, Expert Hive on your own and some of my other thoughts about the platform itself. Okay, thank you so much for listening and have a wonderful day.